Hello, YouTube. Salivate Metal here, sharing with you my silver story. I began collecting coins in bars at a very young age. When I was a very young teenager, in my early teens, I found the objects quite interesting, quite fascinating, and beautiful. And as you can see from this sampling, they are quite attractive looking coins and bars. I found the metal sparkle and the shine of silver and gold and even platinum quite appealing to the eye. So that is what got me on my journey. Realizing that these coins and bars have some value, I continued collecting and it made, made it worth it. And certainly there was no objection from my parents as long as I didn't spend too much money on them. Of course, it was only money that I was allotted from an allowance because I started collecting these before I could work. And I just accumulated a few here and there. Went to the coin shop at my grandparents, near my grandparents' home. It was my grandfather who kind of got me into the, uh, the coins by giving me an Indian head scent that he'd cleaned, which you're not supposed to do, but it was very nice because it was shiny and it was old. It was 1906. And this particular bar here, this Johnson Matthew bar, was my very first silver bar. I bought it in the mid-80s, when silver was much less per ounce. I believe that it cost me $4, if I'm not mistaken. But it was neat. I had a bar of silver. I didn't know who Johnson Matthew was, but I've kept it ever since. And I always cherish that bar because it was my very first. And I like to find inter interesting pieces. I like to find unusual. But if it's common, I'll take it as well. Like this 1965 Canadian dollar. Just a beautiful coin. And others. These, these, and I believe this is my very first gold bar. It's Credit Suisse. Back when gold was $300 an ounce. And as you can see from the sampling, you know, they're kind of proof or proof-like. Very nice condition. And I just collected them over the years. I think the question is, is well, am I a stacker or a collector? Stacking, to me, signifies someone who just accumulates silver as a hedge against inflation, as a safeguard. But for me, I don't know that I would sell a lot of these. Or use them as such. I like them because they're unusual. I like this particular box, for instance, my grandmother gave me for my collections. Coins and bars and silver in there. You see more in there. I'll show some of that later. I've got plenty to show. And like this here, this Stillwater Palladium piece. This, you know, it's just fascinating to have these different metals and different things. But, but... Am I a collector or a stacker? I think of myself more as a collector than a stacker. Although I have stacked some rolls and things and store them. Some of them here at my house, but most in other locations. But the coins and the and the bars and the you know the 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 numismatic value and the things that I like about them is this: the sound, the solid ring. That just, it just, it just appealing to me. This particular piece of sterling, you hear that copper, kind of round, that ting to it. And things like this, an old, what they call a cartwheel. This is a copper piece. They made them just the one year. And uh, so all different kinds of metals, but mostly silver is what I accumulate. If if I do stack anything, it would be silver. But I mostly just accumulate and collect unusual pieces and things. But, you know, it, I would probably do it even if silver went back down to 10 or $5 an ounce. Because I know it's not going to be worth zero. And uh, I've even gotten into collecting some copper rounds because of their beauty and because it's a pure metal. And copper is beautiful as well. It's a beautiful metal. 
So that's just uh, my reasons and my silver story. As simple as it is. A multitude of gratitude to you all for watching. There'll be more later.